traditionally, I suppose the play is done, uh, it's quite um, a dark place, it's quite, uh, it becomes very, very dark and militaristic. Where we are in rehearsals, it's starting in a very different place. Starting in this wonderful kind of Julie Jim innocent place, so we're, it's, you know, sitting around smoking gulwar and, uh, well, we're not, but, you know, <laughs> you kind of, that's where our heads are. It's a really nice way to rehearse. It's very loose. Lucy's great. The boys are great. Um, it's quite nice being the woman with the two men. Quite like that. I've just come from rehearsal now, and um, we've started moving around in the space. Uh, myself and Tara and Joe, and it's just been really fun. It's taken the curse of getting up and actually starting from, you know, discovering the play via sitting around. We sort of did, a, we've done a little bit of that, and then we get up and we play. I think it's an amazing play. They call it a sort of problem play, and I don't, I, you know, that's sort of a bit for me, but um, it just seems incredibly full of heart and um, humour and, and all the things you want from, from Will, you know. It has so many worlds within it, and there is uh, tragedy, uh, comedy, romance, there's so much there. It's a real sort of adventure, and um, it's just, uh, it's quite brilliant to perform. You know, it's a very interesting time historically that she's put it in, in the 1860s, and this movement, the pre-Raphaelites, that almost sort of go against the idea of the buttoned up Victorian, that, you know, the image that we have. These sort of free spirits moving around in this court. It comes from this sort of innocent place, you know, a bit like, kind of our own Eden before the fall, which you know, has elements of that in the play as well. I love it. I just love the play. My favourite Shakespeare play now.